Great, so what I want to do today is introduce you to SCNet and take you through a demo of the SCNet solutions. So firstly we would go to SCNet, log on www.scnet.co.za And so I'm going to tell you a little bit about the portal. So firstly, the portal itself, we currently, in terms of this demo, as of today, when we're doing this, 65,272 companies are on uh, our marketplace. Now those uh, vendors will continue to grow, so if you're logging on now at a future time, uh, just have a look at the company profiles and you'll see exactly how many supply companies are actually registered on SCNet. Uh, secondly, is that uh, SCNet provides a tender research service, so you can see uh, that since we launched, we've, um, uh, as of this time of the demo today, we've introduced 259, almost 260,000 total tenders that we've researched, and uh, currently active are 2,863 tenders. I'm going to go through uh, what that means for you a little bit later. And then we have this section here called Quick Quotes and RFQs. Uh, there are currently 40 uh, quick quotes and RFQs that are active and uh, 5,561 uh, that have been through our system since we launched. Now the quick quotes and RFQs is what corporates are issuing directly through our quote system. So our ERFQ which I will explain and uh, it gives suppliers the ability to be able to respond to quote requests that corporate clients are publishing. Buyers on the portal, um, SCNet has over 7,000 registered buyers on the platform and uh, the scroll on the right is the, uh, the premium suppliers, uh, those that have elected to become uh, premium on our platform as verified members of our marketplace that gives them access uh, to all of the solutions. So if you'd like to consider the premium benefits, that's what I'm going to explain today. So firstly, if you've never been on the platform and you've not registered, you can go to the top right hand corner of the website, click on register. And you would choose the option as the supplier, the first option, I am a supplier and I'd like to list my business and search for tender opportunities. Now when I click on that, it is, don't be put off by the extensive registration process. Uh, we're gathering lots of information and why is that important? It's because this is a procurement solution. If this was just a database, uh, an information portal, then uh, so much information will not be relevant. But you don't need to uh, complete all this information all at once. You will see uh, there are red asterisks next to each field that is compulsory and about 20% of the fields are compulsory. So you're going to go through step one, two, three, all the way through to step seven in order to complete your profile. If you don't have some of the information at hand straight away, you can come back and you can complete that information later. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to log on as a supplier and I'm going to show you what those information fields will look like. Now when you log on, once you create your profile, you'll see there is a password and then there's the special code that you need to enter. Now that special code changes every time and that's part of our security to make sure that we're dealing with a legitimate supplier on our platform. So, uh, I'm welcome onto the platform. You can see there it says, uh, Welcome James. Uh, that's our dummy profile we use for testing purposes and I can click on edit my profile. So at any time you can come back, edit your information and you can see there's your steps one to seven in your profile. So you can see here that um, I have a profile score of 79 out of 100. So as I've gone through and I've completed my information, I'm building my profile. Use that profile score as a guide to improve your, your, um, uh, your profile. So we're gathering your company information, all the statutory tax and B information on your company. You're loading your documents and to go through them, you're going to go through step by step. You're going to click once you've done it, you're going to click each step, you're going to click save and next. Uh, at the bottom, save and next and move on. You'll see there there's a little info icons next to each item. You can click on the info icon and it explains to you exactly what's required in that field so that uh, you have an understanding of what's required. Now, once you've finished your registration, you are then active on the marketplace. Up until that point, your membership is free. So what are the benefits of a free member on this platform is that you are incorporated into SCNet's trade directory. We will verify your company to make sure that everything is legitimate. 
because the buyers rely on the integrity of information on our platform. So now that you are registered on the platform, you can go and consider whether you want to be a premium member or not. Now there are many benefits of being a premium member. The first benefit is that we put you into our tender research service. So in the tender research service, uh, you are able to set up your tender rules. So you're able to define uh, under the tender rules that you want to receive tender notifications by email. Which industry sectors are you interested in getting notifications on? Which regions are you interested in? And then you can include or exclude business keywords. Now, you must watch because if you activate your business keywords, then you're only going to get tenders with those keywords in. Even though you might have specifics around industry sectors, this is a very tight fault. So we caution, only use that when you've tested the system and you're familiar with only getting tenders in those areas. Now, for you to check your tender opportunities, you can, uh, you can also go uh, to your tender alerts. So you can go to tender leads, you can go to tender notifications, and you will see the actual tender alerts that have been sent to you, there's the list of them, that match the rules that you've set up. And you can go and you can find, ah, I do that tender, I can go and click, I can view, and I can actually see all the information associated with the tender opportunity. I can see if the tender opportunity uh, uh, has got an expiry date, I can see the buyer that has issued it, I can see the contact details of the buyer. If we've been able to source the tender documents, we will even have the tender documents there. Now, this is nothing different from what you can do. You can also research the market, find these opportunities, but we take the hassle factor off your hands. You will need to spend hours and hours and hours going through every website, every newspaper to find procurement opportunities. What SNN does is we have a research team in place. We look for these opportunities. We publish them on our tender bulletin. You can go look at our tender bulletin. You can see tender opportunities by all sorts of industry sectors. Now, if you come across a tender opportunity that matches your company, but you didn't get an alert, then it means that your rules have not been set up properly. So here we have all the industry sectors, and you can see we have tender opportunities across all of the industry sectors that we reference. And uh, you can then go and check them out. You can even use the search technology to say, uh, I'm looking for uh, tender opportunities that are construction related. Uh, do a search, uh, click on search, and out of the 2,800 uh, live opportunities, sometimes even going up to as high as 3,500 opportunities on any given day, I can then see all the tender opportunities that match construction. Now, if I've missed any one of them, go back to your tender rules, check your tender rules, tighten your tender rules, or relax your tender rules, and then uh, the alerts will come through to you. Now, as a premium member, every morning you will receive a list of 10, 20, 30 tender opportunities that match your company profile will come through to you by email and this will be the list that you get and then you're able to see, ah, that's a tender opportunity I want to tender on, contact the buyer and then uh, submit a quote. Are you going to do a search now and then show the deals page and show the industry sector? I was thinking, I was talking about industry sectors. Can we not change one of the you know, points, like the one for facts, for instance, to industry sector? Make industry sector count to one point rather than a facts number. I think the no, industry you see the, the thing there is that industry sectors are compulsory field anyway. They have to come. So like make other, is it possible to make other a zero point? We can find it. Yeah. Well, because that would, that would prompt them count to and they, they would, they get would them see I'm missing a point where it's a problem. Oh, I mean other. No, we can definitely try it. Okay. Five, five, four. Great. So that's the first benefit is the tender research benefit. The next benefit comes about by being in a verified trade directory. Now, uh, for the buyers, the buyers have access to this verified trade directory to find suppliers. Uh, now, every single day the buyers come to work, the buyers are driven by the need to find suppliers according to specific criteria. So, 
Let's say I'm putting out a tender and I'm looking for a supplier of construction related services. I can say I'm looking for, uh, under what? I'm looking for construction. I can specify where, Cape Town, Durban, Johannesburg, whatever it is, but I'm just going to search on construction from now. Uh, I search, it brings back a search result of every single company. Uh, so you can see 7,637 companies in the search result. And as a buyer, I've got access to rich information. I've got I can see the profile score, I can see that it's a verified listing, um, I can uh, see the contact details, I can see a write-up of the description of the business, uh, I can uh, view a map to where the business is located, I can view all the uh, statutory information, tax information, B information, all the way down to the business keywords of this business, that gives me an understanding of what they do, uh, I can view the business's uh, BEE certificate, tax clearance certificate, workman's compensation, public liability insurance, I can see other information that may have been loaded, uh, I can go and view uh, shareholder information, and I can view trade references. But I certainly cannot deal with 7,637 companies. And this is where our, our advanced search capability comes into it for the buyers. And this is important for you to know. The buyers will look at things like, I'm looking for companies within a specific sector, so I'm going to go to the construction sector. I'm looking for companies in Gauteng. I'm looking for companies, I can even go down to a district or local municipality. I'm looking for a minimum level of empowerment of uh, level 4. Uh, uh, for those that have got BE certificates in place. Uh, I'm looking for a minimum level of, uh, of ownership. So I'm looking for companies that are at least 51% black owned. Uh, I'm looking for companies that are black women owned if I need. I'm looking for companies that are a certain size. So maybe I want to see the companies that are only the small companies because of my procurement strategy. Uh, I can then go all the way down and say, I'm looking for companies that have got a minimum profile score of 60 or 70 or 80, whatever it is, and apply the filters. And what might have taken the buyers days and days of research to do, essentially now is done by the buyers in a couple of minutes. I've got 131 companies in construction, 51% black owned in Gauteng, that I can now, with a minimum profile score of 60, I can now take to an RFQ process and I can invite them to tender. Correct. Okay, next. Okay, next. Yeah. Stand by, five. Now for the buyers, the buyers are able to then publish a quote request. So if they uh, create a quote request, we give the buyers the tools to be able to go all the way through of publishing the requirement, the content, the delivery details, terms and conditions. Uh, they can specify it as an open tender or a closed tender and nominate suppliers to receive the invitation and to issue it. Now all the security of the system of the procurement process is designed into the technology. Suppliers are then able to quote and go and see my supplier invitations. I can, if I'm a specific supplier invited, I can respond using a supplier code. If I've already started my response, I can log on and see my list of responses, and I can then go and click on edit, and I can then manage my, uh, my RFQ process in response to the corporate client. Um, I can also go and view the open RFQ bulletin. For some corporate clients, they issue open RFQ, so I can see which RFQs have been published, I can go and click and I can view the RFQ, so I might have interest in the security clothing RFQ, I can click on it, I can see all the details, I can download the spec, etc. And I can choose to respond to tender, and I can then respond to this corporate client's RFQ. Now I can also use the same technology to create my own RFQs as a supply company on this platform to reduce my procurement costs. I can create an RFQ for products, an RFQ for services, I, maybe I'm just looking for a proposal on some opportunity, and sometimes maybe I want to evaluate the market through an RFI process. So I can look at the template that I need, I can maybe I need office furniture or new computers or some uh, material, uh, personal protective equipment, whatever it is. I can publish a quote request, I can send it out to the market, and SCNet will help our members reduce their cost of procurement. Okay, next one. Okay, stand by. Five seconds, four. 
Now, in the same way a buyer can search for potential suppliers, if you're a premium supplier on our platform, you can also search for potential companies that you can do business development with. So if I look at where on the platform, and maybe I'm a supplier that happens to be operating in the Midrand area in Gauteng, and I click Midrand and I search, and then it's going to bring back the entire list of companies. So I find 1,359 companies that match my keyword for Midrand. So I'm now able to log on, view information associated with these companies. I'm a verified member. This is a verified member. You can see now by virtue of the star that this information has been verified. You can trust this information. Let's say somebody contacts you and they say they want to place an order with you. Now that's a lot of potential fraud is on the go at the moment around orders being placed from companies that don't exist. You can log on to SCNet, check if the company exists, check who the people are, contact them and say, look, I've got this order. Is it a legitimate order or not? So SCNet helps you make business development with ease. Now, if you're a business card producer, you can get hold of uh, the uh, contact people on the platform and say, I'd like to give you a quote for business development for uh, business cards, and uh, you can now submit a quote to this company for business cards. Okay. And then a further benefit as a premium member is our catalogs, our deals marketplace. As a premium subscriber, we give you an e-commerce platform. You're able to come and create a catalog of your items. You're able to advertise these items, uh, the price of those items. It gets uh, distributed to all our members. So it's an extensive network and the members are able to say, hey, I'd like to buy this item, add it to a cart, do a checkout. And so what we do is we provide you a platform to market your products and services through a catalog to an extensive marketplace of suppliers. So in summary, if you have a look to be a premium member on SCNet, let's just stop it again. So in summary, to be a premium member on SCNet, number one, it gives you access to the buyers on the platform. You have a verified profile on our marketplace. You're also able to use our platform to market your products and services to thousands of companies on our platform. You're also able to get access to our tender research. You're also able to publish RFQs. You're also able to respond to RFQs. You're also able to search for companies that you could potentially do business with. All of that for the low cost of what you see on the screen. Now, if you look at that per month for less than the cost of a family takeout meal once, surely there's a value proposition here for us to help you grow your business.